What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, after the recent news of James Harden being traded to the Brooklyn Nets, we will be simulating a full season with Kyrie, Kevin Durant, and James Harden on the one team. Now, I've gone through, I've created my own roster because at the time of this video, uh, 2K haven't released or updated the roster with James Harden on the Nets. So I've gone through and I've played around with each of the teams and made sure each team, uh, all the trades have been happening between the teams. So we're going to start the season from the very, very start. We're going to go through, we'll probably do three seasons. We'll see how they go the first season. Maybe they'll win a championship, but we'll go through a few seasons with the team and see how far they'll get. All right, guys, as you can see, I have updated these rosters. We've got James Harden on the Brooklyn after Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Spencer Didley, and DeAndre Jordan. You can see the rest of the players. So, uh, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen, and uh, Kuruks have all been removed off the roster, and they have been played on their, put on their teams. If you go across to the Rockets really quickly, you can also see that um, Harden's gone on here and Victor Oladipo is on this roster. So guys, we'll jump into a simulation. We'll simulate to the All-Star break and see how the new look Brooklyn Nets are going. All right, guys, we have made it here to the All-Star break. You can see in the bottom right, our win-loss record is currently sitting at 38 and 17. Not the greatest in the world. There's a few uh, L streaks throughout here. You can see uh, here, starting with the Hawks on January 17th, there was about a uh, about a six game loss streak, losing streak here, uh, but there's a lot of wins across the board. This team is looking very dominant. A few to point out, um, there was a win over here, which was actually quite surprising. Uh, there was, where was it? It was over here. There was a, against OKC, February 20th, there was a 47 point win. I just want to quickly have a look at the box score here. Kevin Durant and James Hunt against their old teams. Look, look at that stat line, like 41 minutes of KD. Uh, we'll quickly jump into here. This is all new to me actually, because I haven't played uh, this game mode yet. We'll quickly have a look at our uh, team standings if we can. Uh, we'll have a look here. Player stats. Okay, here we go. So, the top point average of four the, uh, for the Nets, I should say, the New Look Nets, is James Harden with 26.2. This, oh my goodness. This team, this duo, chat, this trio is averaging 75 plus points together. That is incredible. 75 points among the three players. Spencer Dinwiddie with 17. Joe Harris chucking in the 10. DeAndre Jordan is averaging 10, uh, 14 rebounds a game. I know it's kind of hard to see because of my webcam. An absolutely amazing performance here so far. But all of them are shooting 50%. Oh my goodness, guys, the league might be in trouble, honestly, like, if, if Kyrie Irving is going to sort out his stuff, if the, uh, if, I know there's a bit of, uh, angst at the moment between Steve Nash and Kyrie Irving, if that can be sorted out, this team could be incredible, honestly, uh, the free throw, you can see there, everyone shooting, uh, everyone but James Harden shooting above 90% there, and, uh, let's have a look at the points there, like, oh, oh, it's incredible, absolutely incredible, so halfway, around halfway into the season, we've got three players averaging near or over over 25 points a game. Uh, just quickly, actually, you know what? I'm going to save that for a different video. We're going to go through and simulate the Rockets and see how they go without James Harden. Uh, but guys, we'll move through the rest of the season. Uh, so just keep in mind, 38 and 17 at the halfway point. We'll go right to the end. The final game is against the Bucks. That is a team that they could be coming up against in the playoffs. Uh, but we'll quickly simulate this day, go through here, and I'll see you guys uh, at the end of the season. Alrighty, guys, coming here to the end of the season, LeBron James has won MVP averaging 24.8 points a game, 11 assists, 1.5 steals. He's absolutely doing incredible in his 18th year in the season. The Rookie of the Year goes to Anthony Edwards. He's the projected Rookie of the Year by 2K. The sixth man is Spencer Dinwiddie for the net. So uh, Spencer Dinwiddie obviously averaging 18 points as well. So he's doing very, very well uh, alongside the three superstars. Kawhi Leonard with Defensive Player of the Year and Darius Basley with the Most Improved Player. Steve Nash gets Coach of the Year. You can see in the bottom left, 60 and 22 in between the all-star break and the end of the season a total of five losses for the Brooklyn Nets and a total of about 30 wins so they did a very very good job towards the end of the season and uh, executive of the year we are uh, Jacob Park good on you mate good on you um now we're here to the first uh the all-star first team not a single player made the all NBA first team in the second team still no one in the second team in the third team however we have Kevin Durant and James Harden here in the defense 
defensive teams, we have no one, neither in the second and the rookie teams, we do not care about. So Kyrie Irving did not make a single All-NBA team, and none of our players actually made a defensive team. Now, we do end up with the first seed. We are coming up against the Atlanta Hawks. We're going to simulate uh, We're going to simulate this round. We may as well simulate this first round. See how we go. We win game two, and uh, we do a bit of a gentleman sweep there. We have a bit of a gaze. We have a gentleman sweep here. Kyrie in game five with 34 and 10. Kevin Durant, 32, 14, and 10. James Harden, 9, 1, 7. Uh, not the greatest shooting night from, from any of them. Kevin Durant, 3 of 10 from three-point line. But an incredible night against Trey Young, Danilo Gallinari, and John Collins, all doing very well there. So they move on to the next round. They're playing against Philadelphia, who beat Cleveland, the fifth-seeded Cleveland Cavaliers. So they did quite well. Uh, Philly are the fourth seed. We'll quickly jump into this game. Uh, we'll simulate We'll simulate with SimCast. We'll see how they do game by game here. In game number one, we'll speed it up a little bit. Uh, Philadelphia seems to be taking the lead. Quite a back and forth game here. Uh, we won't go into the games until the finals or the conference finals. Uh, we'll save those. Uh, save going in. This game is going to be very, very close, ladies and gentlemen. A very close game here. Back and forth we go. Philadelphia taking the lead here. Four minutes to go. Philadelphia still taking a lead. Tied game. I kind of want to jump in. Oh, hang on. And Philadelphia have won game one against Brooklyn. I want to check out this box score really quickly. Uh, we've got Kevin Durant getting 30, 11, Kyrie 24, 5, and 7, James Harden 24 and 10, Joel Embiid 25, 17, and 6, Shake Milton with 22 and 5, Ben Simmons with 28 and 12, Seth Curry with 19, Tobias Harris with 17, a great shooting, and a great shooting performance from pretty much everyone on the team, very, very good shooting there, uh, and it was enough to take down the Brooklyn Nets. What we'll do, we'll simulate the round just as we did first round. Get out of town. The Brooklyn Nets have been eliminated in the second round of the playoffs. Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid have moved on. Wow. James Harden, 31. Spencer Dinwiddie, 17. What happened? Ben Simmons, 28, 6, 8, and 3. Joel Embiid, 24, 13. This was just an amazing performance by, by Philadelphia. So that, wow, okay, so a second round exit in the first season for Brooklyn. Chat. I will, guys, I will go on and I'll have a look at the second season. I'll go through, uh, no changes will be made in the offseason. All the players still are on contract. So we'll go through and see if they go any further in the playoffs in our second season. All right, guys, and just quickly, the Los Angeles Lakers have won the championship. They did take down Philadelphia in four games. So LeBron gets MVP, he gets uh, he gets finals MVP, and he gets a championship as well against Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, who took down that Brooklyn team. So we'll jump into the second season and see how they go. All right, guys, here in our second season, there have been no overall changes, uh, from what I can tell, for, the, uh, for this Brooklyn Nets team. They have added Nicholas Claxton. They have also added Nicholas Batum from the... The, uh, from the uh, Los Angeles Clippers had a mind uh, mind blank there, and also Jay Sean Tate. If Nate PTK is watching this, I uh, this is a little shout out to you. I did not do any trades here, uh, but Jay Sean Tate has been picked up, and also Kent Bazemore, uh, and also Corey Joseph. So a lot of trades in the off season here. I did not do any of them. All I did was simulate uh, these three lads that are still on the team. Uh, DeAndre Jordan still there, but from what I can tell, Spencer Dinwiddie is no longer in the team as well. So Spencer Dinwiddie has uh, is, is no longer here, which means that Joe Harris will be starting. So the starting lineup, the projected starting lineup, would be Kyrie uh, at the one, James Harden, uh, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, and DeAndre Jordan. That's a very good team still. All right. Uh, obviously, they might miss Spencer Dinwiddie off the bench. You're going to have Laundry Shamit. Uh, they're going to have Bruce Brown. They're going to have a lot of good players off the bench. Uh, but guys, we'll simulate this first season to the All Star break, and we'll see how they go. Alrighty. And coming up to the All Star break here, a very similar record. You can see in the bottom right corner there, 32 and 22 so far. We'll quickly jump into the statistics to see how the team is doing. Uh, Kyrie Irving has gotten injured. Okay, I was not. I was debating to turn off injuries, but to make it more realistic, I kept them on. And Kyrie is out for four to six weeks with a right ankle sprain. James Harden averaging 29. Kyrie, they're still doing insane now. Stats. KD has dropped a little bit though in his points per game. Maybe making way for James Harden. Uh, Joe Harris also doing great things as well. Where is DeAndre Jordan? Still averaging his 12 boards a game. Good on him. Uh, but guys, obviously a little bit worse than they were the other uh, previous season. But we'll see how. How they go when it comes to the end of the season. Hopefully, they'll have a better record than last time their 
last game will be against the Detroit Pistons. We'll simulate now, and I'll see you guys when it's finished. Alrighty, guys, and coming up to the end of the season, Luka Doncic has won most valuable player with a 34 10 and 10 season an average of a triple double and he wins most valuable player rookie of the year goes to Cade Cunningham uh, DeMarcus Cousins for the Memphis Grizzlies gets six man of the year Jonathan, Jonathan Isaac for the Magic gets defensive player and James Wiseman gets most improved averaging a double double Mike Budenholzer of the uh, Milwaukee Bucks gets a 59-23 record and uh, Brandon Harrison good on you mate now here we have no one in the first all NBA team no one in the second team and wait, hang on a sec. Nobody in the first team. Nobody in the second team. Nobody in the third team. Nobody in the first team. Nobody in the second defensive team. Nobody from the Brooklyn Nets made an all NBA or an all defensive team this season. So that means that Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden were missing from the all NBA team. You can see Luka Doncic, obviously Mr. MVP here. Um, but not one single player from that team. LeBron made the second team still. Uh, oh, I'm blind. Oh, no, I'm blind. James Harden makes the second team. Okay, so Kyrie and KD still didn't make a team at all. Uh, but James Harden makes team number two. We'll move on to the playoffs. We ended up finishing with the fifth seed this season. Um, not too good, 48 and 34, still above 500, still what they, where they would like to be. They're coming up against Atlanta in this first round. We'll simulate it completely, and a sweep is undertaken now. Coming up against the top-seeded Milwaukee Bucks with what you would say would be a prime Giannis. We'll simulate. I, I kind of want to simulate game by game. I don't want to be silly like last time and simulate uh, simulate the whole round and miss out on the action. So we'll speed it up here. Uh, we'll see how they go. Milwaukee are at home, obviously being the top seed. And game number one goes to the Brooklyn Nets. We'll go game number two now. We'll speed it up as fast as we can. Still, the Milwaukee Bucks at home. And Milwaukee take game number two. An absolute blowout win there. Game number three, the Brooklyn Nets are back at home in Brooklyn. Uh, looks like Milwaukee are still taking this lead here. And it looks like they're going to walk away with Game 3 in the Brooklyn Arena. Game 4 now. The series is 2-1 in favor of the Brooklyn Nets. It's in favor of the Milwaukee Bucks, I should say. And now it is tied up 2-2. Two and two. Now It's very, very interesting here. We simulate Game number 5. It is at home for the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Brooklyn Nets are taking it to town on the, on the Bucks here. And Game number 5 goes to the Nets. Back at home now. The Nets can actually win this series at home against the top-seeded Bucks. They're going quite well in this second quarter. Third quarter, it's about a 10-point lead here. We'll go to the fourth quarter. It's still a 10-point lead. Closing in on the finale, and it looks like the Nets will take this series. They move on. They have already passed where they were last season. We'll quickly have a look at the box score of that final game, Game 6. James Harden with a 43-point game. Kyrie, 16 of 14. KD with 26. Giannis for 26, 10 and 6. Very, very good showing out for all those players. We'll quickly simulate the remainder of this round. We'll be coming up against the second-seeded Boston Celtics here. We'll go through and do one game at a time like we did previously. Game one is at home for the Celtics as they are the second seed. It looks like a very close game here. If it gets quite close, we might jump in and simulate it in. We go we're going to jump in. We're going to jump in, guys. Uh, we'll quickly change sides so we don't see what is going on. We are completely simulating. My hands are off the controller. Joe Harris is at the free throw line. I'll turn on this so you guys can hear it a little bit. Uh, but Joe Harris at the free throw line here. Let me quickly change my camera. We don't like this camera. Uh, oh, no. It's a set to that camera. It's a bit weird. All right. A two-point and now a three-point lead here for the Brooklyn Nets. A minute and a half to go here. Kemba Walker is back for the Nets. Uh, for the uh, for the Celtics, I should say. Dribbling on Kyrie. The drive inside is brilliant and gets the two to go. I'll simulate. I'll just quickly. Uh, go through a little bit when there's about 30 seconds left or something big happens I'll keep you guys updated Alrighty, guys, 30 seconds to the dot here remaining in game number one in the fourth quarter. The Brooklyn Nets are down by three. Durant with the ball. Harden is injured. I did not realize that Harden is injured here. The screen by Claxton, the slip by Claxton, and the score by Claxton there. They do need a foul. Hassan Whiteside is on the floor. He has been obviously been traded or assigned with the Celtics here. They are forced to foul. Kyrie has to force Kemba here to the line. Hopefully, 
really uh, anywhere else on the court but Kemba. But it looks like it will be going to Kemba. Unless they go to Marcus Smart here, which they do. And Kyrie gets the foul off. That's his fourth for the game. 16.9 to go. Marcus Smart, his first shot is still good. 80% there. His second shot is green as well. A three-point lead here. No timeouts remaining for the Nets. James Harden will bring the ball up. Kyrie will be sent to the corner here. And we'll see what happens. Joe Harris on the floor here. James Harden making room for himself. The shot down the middle is good. It's back to a one-point game here. 8.6 seconds left to go. Into Marcus Smart and the foul by Harden. That will be his third personal for the game. And it sends Marcus Smart back to the line. Here, the first shot is good. Puts makes it a two-point game. And the second shot is good as well. It is a three-point game in game one here with seven seconds remaining. Kyrie will have to move it up the floor to Joe Harris. Joe Harris has to get behind the three-point line. Kyrie. Kyrie from deep. And it's good! And it's good! Oh my goodness gracious me. Kyrie Irving on the buzzer from down town ties the game and it goes to overtime i did not think that was going to go in at all i will go this is going to be a five minute game so i will quickly go to the end for you guys and we'll see what happens all right guys 29.9 seconds here in the overtime remaining james harden's given the ball they are down by one point here it looks like a double screen play there claxton rolls towards the rim claxton inside and the slam is good by claxton boston have to call a timeout there is nine 19.7 seconds remaining with Boston using their timeout. They're down by one point. Alrighty, here we go. Boston are given one more chance here to take the game. Kemba is given the ball. 17 seconds to go. Kyrie on defense here. They are down by one point. Any score will do. Kemba wasting and drawing this clock down. Seven seconds remaining. Marcus Smart is starting to move. The swing through. Marcus Smart is still there. Two seconds to go. Kyrie from three. It is no good. And Brooklyn take game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. We'll jump into the simulation of game two. You can see here Kemba with 34. Kyrie with 36. KD with 30. We'll jump into game two of the Eastern Conference Finals and see how they go. All right, guys. And coming to the end here of game number two of the Eastern Conference Finals. It is another very close game here. We've got Brooklyn on the road as still here a three-point lead. I might have to jump into the game if it gets too close. It, I'm, I will have to jump into the game. Let's quickly jump in. I'll switch sides. I'll change the camera around. Make sure we're in the middle. Uh, we'll quickly go to the... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Broadcast. Here we go. Yes, this game only. Here we go. 42 seconds remaining in this game. Kemba Walker has the ball. It is a tied game here. Kemba still with the ball. Trying to back down. I can't even tell who's trying to defend him there. Dragic is on the floor. Floor. The shot is no good. And Neto is Raul Neto who gets the rebound there. He is bringing the ball up. No Kyrie on the floor. James Harden and KD in the corners there. James Harden from three. No good. And with 20.2 seconds left, Hassan right side rips in the ball and a timeout for Boston. That is their last timeout. We'll see how they go once the timeout is complete. Alrighty guys, here we go. Jalen Brown's been given the ball. 17 seconds left. A tired game still here. Gonna wind down this clock as fast as he can. I'm guessing Kemba's going to try to come up and wrap around Williams there to get the ball. He does so. Kemba wrapping around. Five seconds left. Four seconds left. The screen by Williams. The shot by Brown. It's good! And he puts the Celtics up by three with 1.5 seconds left in game number two of the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm going to skip through this timeout so we can see what happens. 1.5 seconds left for Brooklyn to do anything. They need something. I'm guessing they're going to give Give it to Kevin Durant straight away. We've got Claxton inbounding. Kevin Durant, 1.5 seconds. It looks like Neto's coming around to get the ball. KD, KD wide open in the corner. KD, he ties the game. Oh my goodness, another overtime here for the Nets. And it looks like, oh my goodness, that is two games in a row where the game has been uh, decided in an overtime period. So we'll skip through this, uh, simulate through this overtime period again and see what happens at the end. Alrighty, here we go in the uh, 
Alrighty guys, the finale here of the overtime period. Claxton is at the free throw line. He knocks down his first one and he misses his second free throw attempt. The outlet there to Kemba. The pass across to Marcus Smart in the corner and the shot is good. A three point lead in overtime here for the Boston Celtics with 25.6 remaining on the clock. We'll go through this timeout and see what happens. Alrighty, here we go. The Nets are down by three. James Harden and receives the ball. He looks like, I don't know what that symbol means, the green one, I'm not sure. I know he is injured, but that doesn't matter now. It is a two second difference between the shot clock. The step back three is no good, and the foul is what they need here. And Jalen Brown will be sent to the free throw line. Neto's first foul of the game. He greens the first one, puts them up by four. The second one is also good. He puts them up by five with 11 seconds to go. It wouldn't, you wouldn't think they'd be able to choke this lead. Here we go, Joe Harris in the corner. Back to KD, to Neto in the corner. The three ball is no good. And Robert Williams snags the board. And the Boston Celtics game, take game two of the Eastern Conference Finals here. Tying the series up 1-1. We'll jump into game three and see if it's just as close. Alrighty guys, game three here. Brooklyn are at home and they absolutely demolish the Celtics, they take a 2-1 advantage here in this series. We'll jump into game number four here. They can take a 3-1 lead if they win. It looks like the Celtics are doing quite well on the road here, the third quarter. It's back to being a close game. We can jump in if we need to. Three minutes to go. The Celtics are up by five, by four, by two, by five. And, oh, it's a 12-second game here. I'm going to jump in and pause straight away so we can get this sorted out. We're going to jump in uh, and we'll have a look. We'll simulate this. Uh, make sure we're on broadcast. Uh, yes, for this game only. Let's see what happens here. We have got two-point lead here for the Boston Celtics. They do have the ball, and they are forced to foul here. Corey Joseph, second foul of the game. Kemba center line, his first, is no good. He misses his first shot here. Brooklyn have three timeouts that they can use. He makes his second, and a three-point lead here for the Boston Celtics. We'll see uh, what happens after this timeout, if Brooklyn can hit a Another game tying shot. Alrighty, here we go. 11.1 seconds to go. KD in the corner. The three straight off the rip is no good. Whiteside gets the rebound to Williams. And Robert Williams will be sent to the free throw line here. With uh, the Celtics up by now four after making his first one. And the second one is good as well. And another timeout by the Brooklyn Nets. It will be very, very difficult for them to come back here. Uh, six seconds left, and they are down by five. Alrighty, here we go here. Six seconds left. Neto, Durant in the corner. The three ball. It's up. It's no good. And the Celtics tie the series at two games apiece. They take game number four, and we will go back to Boston for game number five. Alrighty, guys. Here in game five, the Celtics are back at home here, and the Nets absolutely dominate this game and will take game number five. Harden, you can see there in the top left, dropped 35 points. It's a 3-2 advantage now for the Brooklyn Nets. We'll jump into game number six here. Brooklyn are back at home. And it looks like the away team are always doing a lot better. And the Celtics absolutely dominate the Nets here. We are going to game seven, as a wise man once said. Game number seven. The uh, Celtics are at home here. Let's see how far they can go. They are absolutely blowing out the Nets here. And nearly a 30-point lead now. We're going to simulate a bit further. 20-point lead. The Nets are crawling back, though. 13 points. 7 points. Oh, a little bit of a run there from the Nets. They're still chasing back. They're still chasing back. It's a 7-point lead. A 5-point lead. Still at 5 points. A chase here by the Nets would be historic. 14 points now. And it looks like the Celtics will beat and eliminate the Brooklyn Nets in the Eastern Conference Finals and go on to play the Warriors in the Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you guys have enjoyed. We're going to have, actually, before we do that, we'll quickly have a look here. Kemba 25. See, they're still averaging quite a lot. I want to have a quick look real quick at their player stats and see how they went. So across the entire season, 29, 29, and 24 was the average points. Uh, sorry, that was across the playoffs. In the NBA, in the first round here, actually, can we go to the... I don't know if we can go to the... Uh, I'm not sure if we can go to the regular season, but in the playoffs, it was still an amazing performance. But maybe, like it will be in real life, there is nobody on the bench 
to help this dream trio. Uh, guys, I guess we'll see what happens in real life. If you did enjoy, please give me a thumbs up and tell me down below, how do you think this new look Brooklyn Nets team will do this season? I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll be posting more regularly on here. If you want more updates, follow my Twitter. If you want to see me stream live, go on to my Twitch. And once again, I hope you guys have a lovely evening. Enjoy yourselves. Peace.